Homemade watercolors are very easy to make and you more than likely have most of the ingredients right in your kitchen you can use them right wet now. or let them dry 24 hours and then just have them in the pans for future use. The materials you're going to need is light corn syrup, baking soda, white vinegar, gel food coloring or paste coloring, a glass bowl, a metal spoon, measuring spoons, and little stirs to stir the gel In order to coloring. make it, you just have two tablespoons of baking soda, and you add in one tablespoon of white vinegar. And you're going to get a chemical reaction. It's going to start popping and fizzing. And while it's doing that, just go ahead and mix in at a fourth of a teaspoon of the white syrup to that mixture and then you're going to also add in one tablespoon of cornstarch okay, and mix them together. Now you can make them exactly how I showed you before with the pans, um, any kind of tin would work very well. Otherwise if you wanted to you can use bottle type caps like this and just use the glue them to the bottom along with a on a lid here and if you do that then they'd have their, each their own little pallets. And add your food coloring right to it. Let's put a little bit in there. So continue making all of your colors the same way. You just mix them all up and until you have all of your colors that so you So you could wish. just go ahead and pour in to your cap then take any form of your food coloring and again you want to use the gel food coloring or you want to use a paste because if you go ahead and you use the liquid it will just pool up on top. When you're finished, when, when they finish drying, they'll just pool up on top. Mix it in real good. Once your cups are filled, all you need to do is let it dry. And it normally will take about 24 hours to dry completely. So now those we can just set aside and let them dry. And that's exactly what it looks like. Then when you go to use them, all you need to do is stick a paintbrush on the top, just wet it a little tiny bit, and you can start painting. Watercolor paper works the best, however you can still use your regular white um, construction paper that will work as well. So that's how you make them.